everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we're going to talk about 30 years. 30 years, I say 1967, the Camaro came out, changed the world as pony cars, right? Competing with the Mustang. 30 years later, they build you this car right here, Z28, in some great pieces from back in the day with some modern stuff too. And so I like to call that a modern muscle car. We're going to take some look around here, see some of the cool stuff that you get. And we'll talk about why is this car a modern muscle car and why is it collectible? All right, so listen, we're talking about uh, 67 to 69 Dover white paint cars, uh, orange stripes, hounds tooth interiors, like 60s kind of stuff, right? They bring this back here in this 30th uh, homage to uh, the original cars. And I just love the color combination. I just think uh, white cars with the orange stripes and whatever look great. This is factory paint. It's been electronically metered uh, for authenticity, original factory stripes. This is why I call it a collector car because it's kind of like the way it rolled off the showroom floor. Check out the letters in here. You can see them nice and crisp. You can see the picture of the car in there. We'll light it up for you a little bit because the white is so hard to see the reflection. One of the reasons why uh, uh, the white keeps cars so cool inside. All right, so let's take a peek under here. This is a good, good something of information. Just hear me out for a second. So you got the LT1 in here. Uh, this makes 315 horsepower in its regular. This is a powerful car, right? This may be a, a, a 97. We're doing the video in 2021, right? So it's been a while. But this car flies down the road still, spins the tires. So what I read and saw some videos online, not our video, other people's. But the most important part is the collector part status where we have a lot of the original decals, hoses, and things like that all kind of still in place, right? Why is that important? Well, for one thing, it says my car hasn't been in an accident and those panels have been replaced because if they've been replaced, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get uh, all of the original decals and things like that anymore. Plus, it's kind of cool when you can go to a show, open the hood and say, listen, this is kind of all original right here. Uh, the battery has been changed and probably the brake pads and tires, the wearable items, but most everything else about the car is all original, authentic, and that's what makes for a collector car farther down the road, too. All right, so I like to peek here. This is a nice looking, I like this, I like those tailpipes, original style, right? The big wide ovals, the call out in the back here, the orange stripes, okay? Why do I like the car a little bit more than maybe some others? Little stuff that I see. For instance, like this, this car has two sets of floor mats in it. And you go, well, Tone, what do you care about two sets of floor mats? Well, I care because the original floor mats from 1997 are still in the car, right? They were protected by something like this here. Somebody cared a lot about this car, and that's the kind of car you should be looking for. Plus, you can throw some soft bags in here, drive this car to the beach, go away for a weekend or whatever. So it's a, not only a collector car, it's a car that you can actually use and enjoy. All right, so when I say a modern muscle car, I say this. I say, first off, you got bucket seating in the back. You can throw the kids back here, go out to dinner with another couple, right? There's room back there, and it's comfortable. I love the 30th anniversary embroidered into the white leather hound's tooth interior. This is a super smoking hot interior, only on these cars, right? And then I get inside, and I say, well, oh, man, this is nice. I got a little bit of room. I got some comfort. I got things like power seats. All right, power windows, power locks, tilt wheel, cruise control, right? Power top, I said already, air conditioning, the upgraded sound system. Like this has a lot of nice stuff in here and it's not a cheap, cheesy, plasticky interior. There's like a lot of molded parts here and it fits well. Like you can cruise in this car, the windshield's so long and raked, it makes the car look really cool from the outside. And then again, I keep looking over at this right here going, this is just such a nice, nice interior. All right, so we're gonna close up the video with this. We have a performance car, and you say, well, Tony, how do you know you have a performance car? This is a 90s vintage car. Well, 300 plus horsepower automatically says performance. Positive traction differential, overdrive transmission, like a lot of co good components, four wheel disc brakes, big wheels and tires, and then you throw in the fact that uh, it's pretty rare. When I look at this numbers in here, you know, with a car with 23,700 original miles, we're talking about a car that's been driven less than 1,000 miles a year, and a production figure, Almost 95,000 of these cars were built, 95,000, and uh, this is one of 684. It's almost impossible to think how many are left 30 plus years later. Is there a couple hundred left? Is there 150 left, right? We don't really know, but we know there's certainly not the original amount left. And this right here, low mileage, whatever, says this is an instant classic, instant collectible, and we need to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301. 
816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. If you would, please, don't forget to uh, share this video with some friends. If you'd like it right there down at that bottom button, that would be great, too. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll keep sending you every new video we get.